in two hours and I am very tired I have have I've been having these uh, random bouts of uh, headaches from like few days and I don't understand what's behind it what's making these headaches go crazy uh, I was in class just 15 uh, minutes ago and I was going crazy I was feeling gay I might fall anytime sooner you might be thinking that it's because you didn't have a breakfast but no I'm having it since like four days and I have my breakfast daily I couldn't have it today because I was late waking up to, uh, today and um, I don't know if this juice will suffice but yeah this is a peach juice um, <laughs> tastes okay I guess I'm trying to relax for a bit now because I have to then go to class. I'm hungry and I do have a makanas to eat but I don't feel like eating them right now. So I'm watching something to uh, make my mind go somewhere else which is I think not the right thing to do. I think I should sleep but once I sleep I wouldn't want to go to the class. That's why I'm not sleeping and keeping myself awake. I don't know what I might do. I might read or do something, but I really want to sleep, but I think I can't. So yeah, that's the update, I guess. Hope you enjoy this vlog. for the day um my friends surprised me with cakes we danced we had a lot of fun my friends gifted me gifts and i feel i'm so lucky to have such friends who care and take effort to make someone happy make their loved one happy and yes i'm truly truly blessed so i'm getting ready for going to the class so let's get ready while i talk to you so I have always been an introvert if you know I don't know if you know or not and I've never been you know gifted a lot of things or given a surprise or something I mean I have been but it's like not not the amount of things I have done for people so I always low run on appreciation I always think that uh, people don't care about me so like I feel very lonely at that time is when on my birthday i rarely get two to three wishes but i feel so good now that i have more f like good friends and they wish me well i'm not saying that i haven't have good friends i really have good friends i did get wishes from a lot of friends who i have since for 10 years except for them you know i never got that sheer amount of joy that yes it's my birthday today i was never happy on my birthday it's just a thing that comes every year and yeah that's a formality that you're born that day so you're supposed to be happy but i'm never really uh, very happy on these days but i'm truly happy this year it felt important it felt people cared about it it felt that yeah you are something 
I'm not going to do a lot. I'm just gonna change my earrings and the other things will be usual that I do. Like, friends got me two cakes. Um, I have really close friends and they are two st set of two groups, okay? So they're not really friends, really good friends with each other, but they're uh, really good friends with me. So they got me two individual cakes and um, completely opposite. Uh, one was blueberry cake and uh, another was a chocolate cake. And both were amazing. We had so much fun dancing and all of that. So it was phenomenal. done with my liner I put really thin liner so it doesn't really see a lot of change but yeah that's it I don't do a lot and then <clears throat> I'm gonna put some compact because my skin's oily it is winters practically but uh, my skin is even oilier for winters so I can't help it Recently, I have had like good oil control, but uh, other than that, it's all hell. We are gonna put a bindi. I can't live without bindi. It gives such a uh, sense of balance on the face. We're gonna put some light lip balm. It's practically class, so I can't go with lipstick and all. So lip balm it is. So these are the earrings that I'm going for. This is also given by my friend. So yeah, this is the one. I was thinking to go for a red earring or something, but I then thought, oh, it's, it's a good one. Oh, okay, it looks good. It, it does look, okay, it looks good. I was a bit skeptical. <clears throat> that if it will go with this dress or not, but it does go. It at least goes with my face. I don't know if it goes with the... This is my hair. I have this ribbon and all. Okay. So, okay. Let's put on uh, something warm. Because it's winter still. And my app. Okay. Okay, apron is a bit of a joy kill on good dresses. But we can't do anything about it. It's your uniform. So I'm going to do tits and bits and I'll meet you later. Hello, let's quickly get on with the reading updates and I'm really happy to announce that I'm kind of reading regularly. I have kind of uh, found the balance between reading, studying and doing the stuff that I like and um, I am happy about it. Let's talk with the books that I've already read and uh, in my last video I told about I am reading After Dark by Haruki Murakami. I gave you a little bit of introduction and now I'm going to give you the review and I loved the book. Um, not as much as I loved the other Murakami books I would say but um, it had Murakami magic like the randomness of the plot, um, the weirdness of the plot, the thing that happens spontaneously and uh, it's like that uh, you know stream of consciousness you don't even know what you're reading, you don't even know what's happening but it's just utter magic you feel that the writing style amazing as I told before this whole book, ha uh, whole book happens in one night so there's this girl who's uh, reading a thick book in a cafe it's um, around late in the night and this guy comes over to her and uh, says that I 
recognize you from my past that uh, yeah you are this particular girl's sister she was my classmate we met there and something like that and they talk and uh, Mari uh, this girl isn't really interested but slowly slowly she gets interested in the guy but it doesn't really show that she is interested in talking to him just talking to him because this guy is like weirdly nice and all of that and then the guy leaves and suddenly she gets called for um help by a lady and she says that if you know chinese come and help me i have this really beaten up chinese girl in my motel and i don't understand what is she saying i want to help her out just come to me and then things happen they meet again they talk again they talk about um, her sister how they have grown really really apart in these years how they have gone their different paths and don't understand each other anymore it's about relationship com complexity about relationship and as well as the simplicity simplicity about the relationship as well that made me like go oh, wow that's beautiful and obviously the way murakami writes the whole book has been timed you know it's but it's some particular hour that is there so it was amazing it was um 3.5 stars for me a really good read and then i read a book uh, on my phone uh, an ebook called the murder the millhouse murders by yukito ayatsuji as far as i remember it's about some murders that happened in a in a millhouse uh on a very isolated mountain or something um, now it has been a year since those murders and the same people who were there when the murders happened have come back and now will the murders reoccur? Who is the murderer? So, and also it's a classic mystery of um, locked room mystery. So the room was locked but the person gets murdered. How did it happen? There are a lot of characters in it and all of them assemble in this house and there's a typhoon coming so they cannot leave the house even if they want to. So yeah, we're gonna see deadly people. The whole book was really good for me. I would call it a little bit slow because it's a classic but in comparison to a classic mystery book, it is fast and I enjoyed it a lot. The ending, the conclusion, I did not see it coming and it was really good I would say and I was reading that particular book because I wanted to see a video uploaded by my favorite booktuber Emmy and uh, she did solve this book with her brother and I wanted to see that video after I have read this book. It's so fun. I love how she makes these videos where she solves mystery books. And this is the first book that she ever solved. She has done three to four Agatha mysteries, but she couldn't solve them. But this, she actually did. And she also have played and acted out some scenes in them with her brother, which was great fun. Now, let's talk about the books that we are currently reading. In physical, I'm reading The Anne of Avonlea by Ellen Montgomery. It is the second book in the series Anne of Green Gables. Now, Anne is 16 and a half years old. She's about to be teaching in the same school that she was teaching in. She is going to uh, face problems with new students and all of that. And yeah, we are going to see the follow-up um, events in the second book. I loved the first book. So that's why I have really high expectations. I've started reading it. I'm, I'm just 16 pages and I haven't really read it. Barely touched it. But yeah, the writing is already immaculate. So that's that. And on my phone as an ebook, I'm finally starting the Inheritance Games, the series. And I'm not promising anything. If I like the Inheritance Games first book, then only I'm going to uh, continue the series. I'm not going to waste all my time on uh, books which I don't like. So I would read the first book. They're super hype books and I am uh, rarely satisfied with super hype books. But I want to check it out. So I'm some 60 to 70 pages in the um, book and I'm actually enjoying it. As far as I know, I'm actually enjoying it. The thing that makes it super readable is that the chapters are really, really small. The chapters are three to five pages long, so it makes it super readable. And the plot is interesting as well. As far as I know, it's in the starting, it is interesting. So basically, this girl who is 19 years old, lives a very poor life, is an orphan, lives with the sister, stepsister, and uh, um, has a life that is very rough. She is trying her best to um, get scholarship and all, but suddenly she gets called to a big mansion and there she is told that she has inherited some billionaire's whole estate, every property and every 
she has it all and he has left barely anything in comparison to what he has left to this girl he has barely left anything to his grandsons and daughters and whatever so she has to live with these people in the same mansion to inherit that inherit that amount of money so that's dangerous because she and she doesn't know this billionaire ever she never ever knew, knew this billionaire she has no connection to him uh, but whatsoever she inherited it somehow and these people are furious how he can pick up a random girl from the street and give him give her the inheritance so yeah i am expecting a love to hate something in this book as well let's see so yeah those were the reading updates about my four books if you want to know about orlando then it's still on hold i'm gonna read it but it's still not still on hold and i'm not in the mood to read it that's that that's the update so we are reading this and the inheritance games currently i'll update you about these books later in some other video when i'm done reading them and yeah that was that